Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. The owner of Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Arjun Aloysius, and CEO Kasun Pali Sena were further remanded until the 16th of February. The suspects were produced before Fort Magistrate Lanka Jairatna once again today. Arjun Aloysius and Kasun Pali Sena were brought in a prison bus to the Fort Magistrate's court from the Colombo Remand Prison this morning. Additional Solicitor General Yasan the Kodaguda, appearing for the state, said the case does not relate to the report of the Presidential Commission of Inquiry into the Treasury bond issue. He stressed the case was filed based on the investigations carried out by the Criminal Investigations Department. The investigation followed a complaint filed by the Central Bank Governor, Dr. Indrajit Kumaraswamy. He added when the CID produced a B report in court on Friday, it was based on the investigations carried out by the CID and the evidence and investigative material obtained at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry. President's counsel Kalinga Indatissa and a number of attorneys appeared on behalf of the suspects and produced facts in court. The President's counsel pointed out the Commission report only speaks of an avoidable loss and not an actual loss. However, the magistrate said they are not the same thing. There are similarities. Attorney Solicitor General Kodagoda said the second, third and fourth suspects mentioned in the B report, Arjun Aloysius, Kasun Palisena and Perpetual Treasuries Limited, aided in the criminal breach of trust committed by Arjun Mahendran at the controversial bond auction on the 27th of February 2015. He said this was a conspiracy done together with Arjun Mahendran. Yasanta Kodagoda went on to say the conspiracy can be proven if one of the conspirators turns crown witness or based on circumstantial evidence. He noted the suspects had acted in a conspiratorial manner at the auction. He requested the magistrate to call for an independent report from a judicial medical officer not attached to the prison's hospital in the event the suspects say they need to be hospitalized after they are placed in remand custody. The counsel for the suspects were given two days to make written submissions. The Attorney General's Department and Criminal Investigations Department were ordered to make their submissions within two days after the submissions produced by the defence. The case will be called up again on Friday and Aloysius and Pali Sena were returned to remand custody. Former Central Bank Governor Arjuna Mahendran has been named as the first suspect in this case.